The San Onofre nuclear power plant sits on the California coast midway between Los Angeles and San Diego, so close to the ocean that waves lap up near its seawall. It's in an active earthquake zone. And so is the nuclear plant at Diablo Canyon near San Luis Obispo, which was built directly over a geological fault. In the wake of the catastrophe in Japan and fears of radioactive meltdown at the stricken Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, nuclear industry officials in the U.S. have been quick in seeking to reassure the public that there's nothing to worry about here. We can say with confidence, the confidence of some very recent science, that uh, our operators can shut this plant down and protect the nearby uh, residents in uh, the most significant earthquake this region would probably experience. The Obama administration sees nuclear as a way of combating global warming and easing reliance on foreign oil. It has included $36 billion in loan guarantees for new plant construction in its 2012 budget. U.S. power plants are designed to very high standards for, for uh, earthquake uh, uh, effects. Geologists believe the worst quake possible near San Onofre would be a magnitude 6.5. The buildings are made to survive a 7.0 quake, and the seawall is over 7 meters high. The utility that operates this nuclear power plant and the federal government that regulates it both believe that it's built to withstand the biggest earthquakes and tsunamis that are ever likely to hit this stretch of coast. Of course, the Japanese believe the same thing about their nuclear power plant, too. The news from Japan suggests that even the most advanced scientific predictions may be inadequate when it comes to rare but extremely destructive events. But ultimately a question that these terrible images poses is this is the cost of nuclear power and are we willing to accept that cost? Senior lawmakers in Washington say the inability of scientists to be certain how hard a blow nature can strike at any given place and time is reason enough to put a moratorium on new nuclear plant permits. We have to listen to what is happening in Japan and protect ourselves and our people. The federal government is currently considering applications for 20 new nuclear plants in the U.S. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, San Onofre, California.